What is good, everyone? Welcome to another episode of The Theology and Show. In this show, we combine the lofty and the regular by talking trends, reviews, and of course, theology. Today, your boy is reviewing some good food. Today, we're talking vegan food and the end of the world. How do those two things relate? Let's find out together, man. But first, before we do, I'm gonna take a bite of this big, it's called the Big Zack. It's their take on the Big Mac. And the story behind this is that it is completely vegan. This thing is 100% not from animals, which means that as I take a bite, you can know in peace that no animals were harmed in me enjoying this. Can y'all see it? Look at this, man. I'm about to, here we go. Oh my word. That's good. I need a napkin though. <laughs> oh my heaven. Man, that's good. Y'all, it tastes exactly like a Big Mac. With the exception of the patty, you can tell the patty isn't like patty patties. You know, this is like, you know, question mark patties, but it's a patty nonetheless. Sauce is good, the pickle is right. You know, you get the, the lettuce. Bread is soft, but fresh. Got some cheese, vegan cheese. Mmm, okay. So Big Zach, I'm gonna rate it out of five. That's a, that's a four out of five right there. And then we got uh, chicken nugs, as they call them, with the secret sauce, 100% plant-based secret sauce. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Crunchy, soft, warm. Yo, I can be a vegan if I eat all this food every day. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. All right, and then this is their chicken sandwich. As you can see. That looks like, that looks like a chicken patty. It's not though. Let's see. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That might be it for me right there. That's the winner. The chicken. But it ain't chicken. Oh man, that's good. When we're done, I'm gonna have to finish the whole thing. That's good. That's good. I mean, here's the thing. I would eat all this. I love food too much, man. I would eat all this. And like I said, it's vegan food, and we're talking end of the world. Why are we doing that? Because at times, especially in, in Christian culture, there tends to be this idea that you become a Christian, Jesus saves your soul, and you go to heaven when you die, and it doesn't matter what happens here on earth. And I would venture to say today and offer to you today that that's a dangerous way to think and i would say it's an unbiblical way to think in fact i would even say your theology is a bit narrowed if that's what you think um yes our souls are saved in jesus but what about our bodies what about the physical world when jesus rose from the dead he just didn't come back to life spiritually as a soul he also came back physically. The disciples touched his body, but they put their, their hands into the, the piercings on his body. And so it's important for us to hold together both the spiritual and the physical, even when it comes to the, the, the world around us, right? This ultimately is a matter of stewardship. And so I would say um, there is a mandate, a creation care kind of mandate that we see from scripture in which you and I should care. Yes, that we're going to heaven and we're going to have eternal life in Christ one day, but that eternal life starts today. And we should treat this world as preparation for the world that is coming. My particular view on the end times is not this scenario in which God zaps everybody up and then this whole place is destroyed and fire burns everything to nothing. My view is instead of us going up to heaven, heaven comes down. That's what I see um, spoken of at the end of Revelation is and not, not us getting zapped up, but heaven coming down to us. And God's reign and his rule of beauty, goodness, and life is, is here on earth. And so instead of you and I thinking of theologically it's an evaporation of the world, it's really a renewal of the world. And so when I think about vegan food, vegan culture, just I think a growing awareness towards uh, personal health, uh, the way we care for our bodies, um, what's sustainable food today, right? What can we actually source from the earth that's uh, done in a way that honors people, honors the earth itself, right? I think vegan food is, an, is a good option. 
And at the same time, I would want to address this, that it's, it's, it's a dangerous thing, especially in Christian culture, for us to um, judge people because of their decision to have vegan food. Or, or to think that they are slipping in their, in their faith or the, theology because of the way they choose to eat uh, meat or not eat meat, right? I think, I think we've got to open our hands with something like that. Um, because the, the scriptures call us to care for the world. Uh, the scriptures call us to care for our bodies, which are the temples of the Holy Spirit, right? And so, man, I think um, speaking of regarding eschatology, the end of the world, we should be um, more aware that there's a lot of different views out there when it comes to how everything will going, how everything is going to end. Um, instead of you and I imagining that this whole place is just going to burn, we need to imagine a place in which God recreates everything in a beautiful way. And, and I particularly take that position that we're we're working our way towards a renewed world, um, and I think that's important for us to be aware of that and to, to have that inform our decisions in the here and now. Um, it's not just about us getting to heaven, but it's about what we do in preparation for heaven, the way we live today as preparation for that new world that's coming, the kingdom of God that's coming. And um, I think the way we eat food, the way we source food, the way we treat people um, with or without food is, is a demonstration of our eternal home and the world that God desires for us to live in to also steward as well. And so, man, vegan food and eschatology actually has a lot to say together. It's very common for us to be taught the world will end by God just rescuing out the Christians and then judgment pouring down. I just don't see that being the case as you take in all of 1 Thessalonians, all of the prophets, all of Revelation. I think there's a picture in which Christians are called to endure hardship to bear witness to God's kingdom against Babylon, against all the empires of the earth, and to consider that we are bearing witness to a better way of life as we follow Jesus as the resurrected Lord. And uh, something as simple as food can be a reminder of the invitation for you and I to steward ourselves. Now I say all that as someone who loves chicken, I love pizza, I love pepperoni, I love me a good deli sandwich, right? Uh, but I also love my brothers and sisters in Christ who get down on the vegan stuff, man. Because truth be told, it ain't bad. Shout out to Plant Power here in Riverside, California. Appreciate your business. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Check out Plant Power. Um, if you would like to learn more about theology regarding uh, the end times, eschatology, how things will end, we will link in the show notes some different resources that you can check out books that you can read to dive more into the different viewpoints that christians for thousands of years have held regarding the end of the world so yeah man grace and peace see you soon thank you so much for watching the theology and show please like and subscribe stay tuned to everything that we got going on we have so much coming and i cannot wait to get it out to you so make sure to keep following us peace